Hey beautiful! If this is your first time here, I'm an intuitive tarot oracle reader. Now my dear, I hope you're having an amazing day and everything is going fine with you. If today is not the best day, I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back with another pick a card reading and today's pick a card reading is a soulmate reading and it's all about what kind of lover or partner is your romantic soulmate going to be like. So I think this is actually a very interesting topic. So as always, my dear, I have three pounds that she can choose from and today we have cards, no crystals. This is pal one with the six of cups. This is pal two with the lovers card and this is pal three with the ten of cups. As always, my dear, please feel free to pause the video or you can also meditate on the cards if you feel like you need a little bit more time to choose. You will find all the timestamps in the description box, but of course, also in the comment section. And as always, my dear, if you're interested or curious in a personal reading with me and you would like to get further information regarding one, as always, you can feel free to email me. Lastly, my dear, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate with you. But yeah, having said that, let's begin. Hey, pal one, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's see what kind of partner or lover is your next romantic soulmate going to be like. Let's see. For my dear pile one. Okay, the first card we have, my dear, is the full card. We have the nine of wands here as well. Let's see, let's see. The six of swords. Okay. We got the seven of pentacles as well. The nine of cups here. For my dear pile one, let's see. What kind of lover or partner is your next romantic soulmate going to be? Okay, and we have the Two of Cups. We have the Magician. One last card, please, for my dear Pile One. Only one card, please. Okay. And we got the Six of Cups. At the back of the deck. Oops. <laughs> Great, the cards fell. Okay, please give me a moment. Okay, now I think I mixed the cards. Anyways, the back of the deck vanished. So, let's see. For my dear pile one. What can we get about you guys? What kind of lover or partner is your next romantic soulmate going to be like? Okay, there are some things we need to talk about here. First of all, we are starting off with the Fool card. And the Fool card is a very light-hearted energy. It's the energy of someone who starts from new. You know, someone who is going or, um, yeah, is starting a new day with excitement, with hope, you know, like kind of this um, energy of no matter how dark the night may be, there is always a brand new day ahead. This is kind of the full card energy. And with the fool being here, I really feel like as well, no matter how old this person is, they still have this young energy. And not only that, when we talk about their personality, I really feel like it's someone who is not mm, like stuck in their ways. You know, this is someone who sees themselves kind of as the the student of life, you know. And that's why I think that it doesn't really matter how old they are. They always see themselves as as kind of someone who 
yeah, who needs to learn, you know? So they don't have like a mindset in which they think they already know everything and therefore they can't learn anything. No. In fact, they love to learn new things. And I feel like when we talk about how they're going to be as a partner or as a lover, they're going to be very fun in the sense that this is someone who gets excited. This is someone who likes to experience a lot of new things for sure. So for example, let's just say you would like to do something, something very special. Maybe something that a lot of people don't do which may need some mm, courageous, you know, approach. I don't know, let's just say bungee jumping, okay? That's just an example. <laughs> so you don't need to, uh, like, you don't need to go bungee jumping, but that's just so you guys understand better. And let's just say you have this, like, this want or this desire. They will be open for these things, you know? Also, I really feel like this is a partner who you will go to a lot of adventures with okay like maybe you are the same as well but even if not the circumstances are gonna be created okay in which you're you're gonna have to be <laughs> like it's kind of like you may travel to a place with each other and then get the opportunity to experience something unbelievable great and yeah, like little adventures like that. I see you guys being the couple who may always talk about what they have experienced in the last travel or where they have been at the weekend. This is the energy that I'm getting. It's it's like you guys are always moving. You guys are always experiencing and extraordinary things. That's what I'm talking about. Maybe even for some of you guys, this person could bring you out of your comfort zone any, a little bit. Like, bring you out of your shell. If you don't feel like you are the one who may initiate those adventures, then it can, of course, very well also be them. So take it how it resonates, right? Maybe they are going to be the one. And you're going to be able to come out, you know, of this little bubble of yours and really see what more the life has to offer. This person for sure loves to just be with their partner and see all the different colors, you know, life has to offer. This is for sure not a black and white kind of person. This is someone who wants to experience, who wants to see all the colors, you know, and... That's actually wonderful. I feel like with this person, you're going to experience a lot of like first times. For example, maybe traveling for the first time to a certain continent or once again, maybe for the first time going um, and doing bungee jumping. It could be anything. But yeah, a lot of first times here I'm seeing. They're going to be the kind of lover that wants to see you happy okay but that's not only referred to you they are the kind of person who like when they care about someone when they love someone it is very natural for them to yeah do whatever they can to make them feel better or make them happy it's kind of like a responsibility to them you know it comes from a good place they think this way because, you know, I mean, they care about the people they love. So they want to do their best to make them, like, be happier, right? So that's something actually a lot of people want when they think about their loved ones. But there is also this element of um, privacy in here. Like, I really feel like your next romantic partner, there is something about that. Maybe they are a more so private person and maybe they're not gonna just share all the things about your relationship in like, let's say on social media. Maybe for some of you guys, you used to have, let's say, an ex who shared a lot. This doesn't feel like that kind of person. This is more so someone who... Like for them, it is important for the people involved to have fun. 
the world doesn't have to know that or you don't have to share everything with the world as long as it makes you happy like you know you know what I mean it's kind of like there is no point for them and besides that they are just the more private person you know especially when it comes to like online and social media I don't know whether this person has perhaps experienced something regarding that, but they definitely prefer this. So it could be the case that a lot of people are sometimes speculating about your guys' relationship, you know, about how you may do and stuff like that because you don't share that much online. Like, don't understand me wrong. Of course, you're going to share stuff with your loved ones, but I'm talking here publicly. Because on social media, for example, or online, we're not always connected with people we know, right? Very often, it may be, you know, people we have seen before, maybe, but we don't really feel close to, or even sometimes strangers. So, yeah, I feel like that's why they, they, mm, they prefer to protect this energy. You know, for them, this is all about protection. Because, okay, I heard the less people in your energy, the less headache. <laughs> so that's interesting. I guess that's where this element comes from. I really feel like this person could have experienced something. Because, yeah, this feels like someone who has <laughs> experienced something that has made them think this way. But that's okay, right? I mean, everyone can decide for themselves how much they want to share offline or online with others right especially with like strangers but that's still what i'm seeing there is this element of okay this is my relationship i want to keep it private like others don't need to know what i am what we do all the time and the most important thing is that we are happy with our relationship we don't have to prove anyone that we're happy we don't have to um, upload pictures or certain posts so people you know think that we're happy no all that matters is that we're living this truth and period I really feel like this is gonna be also a very romantic partner so actually when it comes to like their love language one thing I want to say from the beginning is gift giving. That's something I I feel pretty much, especially because like your pile card is the six of cups. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is this little cute boy and he's like giving the woman, oh, not woman, this little child, this little girl, better to say, um, some flowers or a cup full of flowers. And I don't know why when I see this, it's like I always think of someone giving someone else a gift, you know. So I really feel like their love language could be gift giving. But it's more than that, you know, for this person, it's all about like taking the time for each other as well. For example, to to experience something or to just be with each other, you know. I mean, what is more valuable than the time we have of our life money you know you will get but you can never get the time back that you have like yeah passed right or wasted so time indeed is a very 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 probably the most precious currency and for them it's important to show their partner yeah that they care about them and they want to invest in this relationship and in their partner with the time they have. So quality time here for sure. Also, I talked about the fact that I feel like romantic, um, like romance, better to say, is also a thing here. So this could be a very romantic partner. I know not everyone likes that. So it comes back to you guys and, you know, if you don't like it, maybe you have to have a conversation with them and tell them what you may prefer or how you feel about these things. But for now, this is what I'm seeing here. And like when it comes to the romance, it can be something very small, such as, let's say, giving you a flower or giving you some kind of gift, okay? 
but it can also go as far as maybe a romantic like trip you know it can really have any shape so that's very exciting <laughs> definitely here they're also going to be the kind of partner who who wants to help you with however they can so i do feel like this is someone who's well skilled and they would want to help you to guide you you know whatever they can do whatever is possible for them they are ready to serve it to make you feel better or to help you if you are in some kind of situation in need let's just say for example like with the magician card and we're not talking here gender wise it doesn't matter who this person is this person could be very skilled you know in a lot of different aspects let's just say someone watching this like you have problems with your car and you may approach this person and yeah they're gonna know what to do or maybe you need some um some guidance or some help when it comes to a work situation you will contact them and then they will try to help you, you know, how you may navigate the situation the best. These kind of energies. Let me see. Okay. So, what I also feel for you, my dear pile one, is that like this person they are the kind of person who they don't just want to be in a relationship like for them it has to like have a goal what do i mean with that for example when they start a relationship they want it to be successful they don't want to be in a relationship in which like the two people or you know whoever may be involved um maybe makes each other's lives hell or you know like they create a very toxic environment or relationship for them it has to be successful like when we start something or that's at least how they think when they start something it's important for them to always keep in mind that there is a purpose in it you know they like to see things through a purpose and they're gonna see this relationship as a beautiful opportunity for you guys to experience love and create a harmonious yeah and successful relationship with each other of course it may not always be easy but this is someone who who's gonna invest in the other like when they call you a partner then know that they're gonna invest in this relationship they're not just gonna take it lightly their goal their purpose is to it's for it to be a successful one i feel like this is just in general like how they are i mean not everyone has to have like a purpose or goal when they start something but for them it is important so they um like maybe not so much in relationship but especially let's say in career and stuff like that it is extremely important for them to to have goals and to know like the path they've chosen where is it actually leading me okay like this could be the kind of person who does a lot of multitasking or they sometimes put their intention i'm sorry attention <laughs> into multiple things because they have a lot of ideas and they have a lot of things maybe they they like to dive into so this is why having this like this path knowing where you're heading towards is important so they don't lose themselves you know and all the ideas and all the possibilities and all the options and opportunities you know let's see what kind of partner are they let's get you guys some more cards For my dear pile one, um, no, I only want one, please. What kind of partner or lover is your next romantic soulmate? Okay. 
Okay, one card turned over. Know your worth. Wow, interesting card. This is someone very straightforward, like as simply as the card says it. They're going to know your worth. They're going to know what you deserve. Um, I do feel like this person is someone who likes to treat other people fairly. Mm, I mean, I feel like this person, a lot of... Well, that's actually very natural because that's how a lot of things work out. But a lot of traits they have, which are very, very dear to them, definitely come from experiences. And they could also have had like um, a phase in their life in which they were not treated fairly. And therefore, now that they are in a much more empowered state, it is important for them to make sure that we as human beings, we empower each other. Of course, we could also take each other's power away, but it is more beautiful if we can uplift each other, if we can motivate each other, right? Because then we glow together. And for this person, they're going to definitely treat you, I'm hearing the way you deserve to be treated, with respect. Okay, with respect. For my dear pile one, oh, okay, we have the slave archetype which says surrendering your power of choice to the divine with complete trust. Wow, that's a very, very powerful statement right there. So the word trust definitely came through for me immediately. But I mean, it makes a lot of sense throughout the whole reading. I got the energy that this is the kind of partner who, who's not only going to trust in this relationship, but they're going to trust in trust you so much, you know, especially maybe for those of you guys who are watching this and mm, you may have some trust issues. I feel like it's going to be a great experience for you to to understand that you know maybe if someone in the past did you wrong and therefore you have those trust issues that doesn't mean that you know just because a past person was a certain way that the future person is also going to be that way the ex is the ex the new person is the new person and i do feel like for you my dear pal one that you're gonna learn how to trust again but it's not really a learning process. It's something natural. You know, it's the way it's supposed to be. You're going to fall in love with this person and you're going to build this very safe and trusting relationship. You're not going to care about the past ones because they don't even matter anymore. With the word or with the um, statement of like surrendering surrendering being here i do feel like maybe somehow also with the fool card which is the card of like <laughs> taking a leap of faith maybe sometime like somehow you have to do exactly that you have to take a leap of faith you, you have to believe to take a chance with this relationship but i mean you're gonna do it because Otherwise, this would not come through, okay? So have trust and belief. That's very, very important. Not only in the other person, not only in this relationship, but also believe in yourself. That's the most important thing, okay? So my dear pile one, this is all I have for you for today. I'm not getting any more messages. Please feel free, my dear, to, my, to let me know how you feel about this reading. And as always, if there is something you would like to share with us, your thoughts, your feelings, please feel free to do so in the comment section below. Also, my dear, as always, I invite you to like and subscribe if you haven't. If you're also interested in a personal reading with me and you would like to get further information regarding one, of course, as always, you can also feel free to email me, my dear. 
Lastly, if you would also like to connect with me more on Instagram, of course, I invite you there as well. You will find my Instagram link in the description box. My dear Pile One, I'm sending you much love and much, much positive energy. And I hope you're having a beautiful day or, of course, a beautiful evening, depending on where you are right now. But yeah, my dear Pal One, take care, my love. Hey, Pal Chi, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's see your next romantic soulmate. What kind of partner or lover are they going to be? So let's start straight away. For my dear Pal Chi, what kind of lover or partner is your next romantic soulmate going to be like? Let's see for my dear Pal two for my dear pile two okay the first card we have is the nine of swords let's see what this is about for my dear pile two <laughs> look at that nine of swords nine of cups we have two nines here maybe some of you guys are seeing repeating numbers right now Okay, two cards. Let me see. One of them fell on the floor. Oh, okay. We also have the Ten of Pentacles and we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups. Okay. For my dear pile two. We have the Lovers, the King of Swords. Let's get you one last card. All right, and we have the Star card. At the back of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups here. All right, my dear Pile 2, what kind of partner or a lover is your next romantic soulmate gonna be okay first of all let me start with that this person is an incredible romantic person <laughs> like let's just go for it straightforward i also got a little bit of romantic energy for pal one but it's nothing compared to the energy that i'm getting here I literally feel like you can look forward to a lot of great surprises. If, of course, I mean, that's something you like. You know, not everyone may like romantic gestures. But if you do, then that's definitely the jo <laughs> like the jackpot for you. Because actually, this is a great example, like the illustration. Look at this. You see, um, and I'm not talking here gender-wise, but this is just the illustration. So yeah, let's go with it. So you can see this person, they have flowers here. There is a picnic in here. There is a love letter here. There is a lot happening. And all these things are, yeah, are different gestures that we associate with a romantic yeah, let's say um, evening, like candlelight dinner or like just in general, like romantic gestures, right? For example, a lot of people get flowers or roses, red roses, you know, on um, like occasions, love occasions and stuff like that. So this is definitely a thing here. <laughs> and I feel like this is the kind of person because it's coming through so strongly. They don't need a reason you know to do that so for example they're not gonna wait till valentine's day to give you flowers you know maybe one day you're coming from home um, not from home <laughs> you're coming back from work <laughs> that's what i want to say and you may be very tired and yeah you're just looking forward to um calming and relaxing evening you come and all of a sudden you may see this very cute small like candlelight dinner or maybe they're going to give you some flowers you know they're going to incorporate these elements into your day-to-day -day life every now and then it's not like they're going to do it every single day but i really feel like it like they don't need a date for example let's say such as valentine's day or um a reason to give you something all that matters is that they love you and 
they want to give it to you, you know? For example, it's not like your birthday has to come up or um, maybe your anniversary or so, like stuff like that so they can be romantic like that. They're going to do it also um, from every now and then for sure also just like that. Okay, having said that, um, let's move on. So, let me see. Wow. Let's look. That's very interesting. I would like to show you guys the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Look at this. Both are nines, but look at the illustration. They couldn't be any more um, like different. First, we have the Nine of Swords. We, we have dark um, colors. We have those ravens up there. And there's this girl. She's. It looks like she's devastated or she just woke up from a nightmare, right? She had a bad dream and she um, is sunken a little bit like her body language. It's very small and she's hiding her face in her hands, right? And in comparison to that, we have the Nine of Cups, which is the complete opposite the color is bright instead of ravens we have the cup energy everywhere she's literally jumping her hands are open you know she, it's like almost out of her heart space there's this light coming through she feels uplifted she feels good and we also have this treasure in here so now you may ask yourself like why am i sh sharing this comparison here there is a reason for it I, yeah, I really feel like, my dear, this is the kind of partner, because that's what we're talking about, what kind of partner or lover they're going to be, who is not only going to be with you when you are at your best, but they're also going to be with you when you're at your worst, okay? And that's a very, very important thing, because life is, life is full of bad and good days you know even like when it comes to relationships sometimes it may be great others there may be a challenge that's the duality that's the energy that's the world the reality we're living in we co get confronted with both energies from both sides and i've had this uh this energy coming through in the past so maybe you have seen a reading in the past and this message, you have heard this before. But very often, you know, I mean, when we are doing great, when we feel abundant, when we are abundant, you know, people get very naturally drawn towards us and they want to be a part of our life. But very often when things get ugly or difficult, a lot of people tend to, or some people, let's say those who... um who aren't there for you, okay, they may actually leave because they wanted to be there at your best, but they don't want to be involved with, like, your worst. And maybe they're just going to leave the situation, you know, and you may find yourself alone because the support, it's not there anymore, like it was when everything is, was going well, but now that it's going dark maybe the certain people leave because they just don't want to be a part of those energies, you know? So what I want to say with this very um, long explanation is that some people will stay with you when you're um, at a good place, but a lot of people will leave when you're going through tough times. And, you know, it's very easy to find people who we can laugh with, but who is going to be there to cry with right and this is the kind of partner whoever this next romantic soulmate of yours is who's gonna stay at your side even when things get ugly even when you feel like um at a very dark place when you feel very sad when you feel like you are you're losing something you're losing maybe hope or you're just not at your best you know you feel very down that's not a reason to leave your loved ones. In fact, if you really love someone, um, you want to, of course, help them through the situation, right? And that's what I'm seeing for you here. That they're going to be the kind of partner who's going to help you through it and support you, 
Very, very important. And why is that? What's their motivation? What's their reason? It's this love, okay? You guys are in love. And this love is what's going to connect you to each other. And yes, life may throw obstacles, challenges, you know, our way. But the ones who really, truly love us, you know, they will hold our hand. Yes, maybe we need to go through that door by ourselves, but it's nice to have love support, right? It's it's nice to have the warmth of someone holding our hand through the journey. And that's really what I'm seeing in here. Also, by the way, that's something I would want to mention. I really feel like if this is something uh, you guys are open for then there is definitely the potential of a long-term connection in here of course as i always like to say it depends on your free will right it depends on this if this is something you want but talking energetically the potential is here to have a very serious and very long-term relationship with this person in fact, I really feel like when we talk about what kind of partner they are, this is who they are. You know, they are a very serious partner. When I say serious, I don't mean their personality. I mean, when it comes to their relationship, like they see this seriously. They don't take it lightly. They won't play around with the relationship. They will take it um, serious. And just genuinely speaking, this is someone who definitely looks at things long term like they like to be in a long-term relationship they like to invest their energy into something which is gonna last so that's really what i also feel like when we talk about what kind of partner they are they're gonna be that kind of partner who yeah is gonna build a very firm foundation and who wants actually for you guys to create something and create something long term yeah this person definitely they're coming through here with very like no bs kind of energy they're very serious about this also protective they're going to be protective of you no matter who this person is this is a protective partner They're also going to be the kind of person who is going to teach you a lot. I feel like this person has has some wisdom within them. Um, either this knowledge has come through from like learning, you know, studying and stuff like that, like getting a lot of information throughout the years, or this could also be knowledge or wisdom that they have, yeah, created through experiences in life but regardless of how it's going to apply to you it could even be both right what's important to mention here is that this is the kind of person who wants to share those th like this wisdom with you to help you improve your life as well let's just say you are experiencing something and they have already experienced that or they have already like studied that so they want to help you out with it, you know, because they have the experience, they have the knowledge that maybe you need at that moment. So they're definitely very eager to teach, very eager to, um, yeah, to show you, you know. Let me see. Okay, as I already said, no relationship is perfect, right? No relationship has like their ups and downs and well that's a part of the relationship to go through it to experience it and yeah it's something that everyone will experience because no one is perfect and no relationship is perfect but having said that i don't know why people are gonna see you <laughs> almost like as a very perfect couple so this can very well be the way you guys um per like present yourself to the world okay you may for example be the kind of couple who's not going to share anything like um challenging with others you really 
decide to just keep it by yourselves and therefore maybe people only see all the good moments you guys have and think yeah there everything is perfect you know um because people see you as yeah i mean actually this can also be power couple energy you know people may even see how strong you are like that you don't tolerate yeah any bs like <laughs> there is something about um no bs energy in here okay <laughs> like that's just how i would describe it but you know i talked about this aspect i really feel like your relationship is gonna be an example for others when it comes to what love can be you see um maybe some of you guys have been drawn to pal three as well um if this is the case, then feel free to watch it. If not, then just stick with this one here. But the whole time I'm speaking, I'm actually looking at the Ten of Cups here. Like, it's the pile um, selection card of pile three. But the whole time I'm talking, I'm looking at it. You know, it's almost like um, <laughs> it's deeply connected to your pile. I know the Ten of Cups hasn't come out for you guys, but still, I really feel like it should have because i really feel like it's the ten of cups energy that people see in your connection and it makes them hopeful for a relationship for love you know you're going to be very discreet you're not going to share all the um, privacy of your life you know with others like you're not going to share difficulties perhaps even with others but you're going to share loving moments with others you know so people can see how love can look like and i really feel like this is going to be inspiring this is going to be inspiring for example for some to believe in love or to to see an example of a healthy relationship okay things like that that's really what i'm feeling here so that's interesting let's get you guys some more cards For my dear pile, well, I'm not not one <laughs> pile two. Let's see. Okay, we have the card of the detoxify. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, you know what this card mm, gives me the impression of? I talked about the fact that this is the kind of partner who who's not gonna leave you when things get ugly in life. In fact, once again, I really feel like this is someone who like you can count on their support. And with the detoxify energy being here, I really feel like they're going to help you through, you know, um, let's say certain healing processes. It can be as simple as let's just say you guys want to um, eat more healthy. You guys could together start a certain diet or um, a certain lifestyle which makes you feel more energized, more in your center, more in your well-being. Really this detoxing energy, you know, but it doesn't necessarily only have to be connected to the food and things you drink. It can also be connected to, let's say your energies okay for example maybe you sometimes have um like you're let's say you're struggling with with a situation you may approach this person for guidance and together you guys will talk about how you can detox how you can leave this energy you know how you can break free from maybe those things that are um are bothering you so this detoxing energy is not only referred to what people may like conventionally refer to as detoxing, such as diet detox, but I feel like it's more than that. But that actually just beautifully confirms what I already got regarding them being this, um, this support system for you. It's also coming through you once again. Someone who will, yeah, hold your hand, you know through whatever journey it is that you go through let's get 
catch you one last card for my dear pile one. Okay, one card fell. Please give me a moment. We have the martyr. Is this how it's pronounced? Archetype, which says learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself or a cause. Wow. Wow. You know, you know what I just, like the first thought I had? I really feel like this person will also help you on your self-love journey. They will help you with connecting to yourself more or being more gentle to yourself. Maybe some of you guys right now are on your self-love journey, you know, and you're doing your best. You're going by your own speed, right? And yeah, you're trying your best to maintain or create this the safe space for yourself and to increase um i'm not increase to improve <laughs> to improve the relationship with yourself i really feel like this person is going to help you with that which is actually such a beautiful thing i mean at the end of the day healing it's gonna come through us you know it's the work that we have to do no one else can do it for us. You know, we have to develop the self-love for ourselves. We need to do whatever healing it is ourselves. However, as I like to say, sometimes we may meet people who are who are like a blessing, you know, they are such a great support <laughs> once again. Um they help us through it and they even um Like, they, they stay at our side, you know? And sometimes that's what we need. We just need to know that there is this love coming. And it's nice to feel love, you know? Especially maybe at a time where we don't feel at our um, best and it's very difficult for us to... Um, to maintain our inner balance. I really feel like this person is somehow, well not somehow, actually multiple ways, okay? They are going to help you, my dear pal, too. They're going to support you. They're going to be your greatest cheerleader, whether it's through or whether it's um, connected to your self-love journey. Maybe they're going to tell you what helped them for their own self-love journey okay it can be exchanged like that exchanging experiences as i already said which already came through they may tell you what helps them or what they have done to improve their relationship to themselves or whether it's once again them just being at your side when you go through difficult times but if this reading had a keyword it would be support this is the kind of partner or lover this next significant soulmate is, okay? They're going to be so supportive of you. So my dear pile two, this is all I have for you for today. As always, my dear, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. And yeah, also I invite you to like and subscribe if you haven't. If you're also interested in a personal reading with me and you would like to get further information regarding one, as always, you can feel free to email me. Lastly, my dear, if you would also like to connect with me more on Instagram, of course I invite you there as well. You will find my Instagram link in the description box. My dear pile two, I'm sending you much love and much, much positive energy. And I hope you're having a beautiful day or, of course, a beautiful evening, depending on where you are right now. But yeah, my dear pal too, take care, my love. Hey, pal three, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now, let's see what kind of partner or lover is your next romantic soulmate going to be. Let's start straight away. For my dear... Pile 
three. What kind of partner? Let's see. What kind of partner? All right, the first card we have is the King of Cups. For my dear pile three, what kind of lover or partner are they going to be like? We got the star. Ooh, a lot of cards fell. We have the Emperor. We got the Five of Wands. For my dear Pile 3. Two of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. For my dear pile three let's see okay another king the king of pentacles interesting we have two kings coming through so far and the emperor okay and we also got the two of cups here all right so for my dear pile three what kind of partner or lover is your next romantic soulmate going to be? So, let me start with that. Um, oh, by the way, <laughs> at the back of the deck. Yeah, okay. Uh, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, <laughs> let's start now. So, what kind of partner are they going to be like? So, first of all, <laughs> let me start with that. I really feel like this is a partner who who has a lot of different sides to them like they're very multifaceted you know and I feel like this is something that you're actually gonna appreciate and love about them a lot on many different levels <laughs> first of all I I think that one important aspect or one important trait that this person has which is very important to you is how emotional intelligent they are I really feel like this partner they give you the space in which you can freely express yourself, emotionally speaking. Maybe in the past or maybe right now even, it's a little bit difficult for you to do so. I mean, when we do this, you know, when we just emotionally expose ourselves in a way, it definitely makes us be in a vulnerable place, you know. I mean, there is this quote like, like the people we love can hurt us the most right and um i really feel like maybe you have at some point experienced someone not honoring your feelings when it comes to this partner i really feel like they are someone who who understands the sacredness of emotions you know and they're definitely also a very fair person so they would never ever treat your emotions in a certain way um which they also wouldn't want to experience in return you know so they treat others the same way they would want to be treated and because we're talking right now about the emotions and feelings they're going to respect them and they would never ever, you know, after you may have made a confession to them, show their finger to you and laugh at you or, you know, make you regret those feelings or not not regret those feelings, but sharing them with you, with them. That's what we're talking about here. In fact, I really feel like they're going to make you feel appreciated about that. You know, they understand how tough it can be to actually do so. 
and yeah they're also themselves a very emotional transparent person so they're not holding back or they're not playing games so when they feel something towards you they will they will reach out to you and tell you and i feel like that's something you really love about them you may even be very um like mesmerized by them or admire this trait that they're gonna be just so so honest with their feelings and maybe it's this example they're gonna show you that's gonna make it even easier for you to do the same yeah but just genuinely speaking also talking about the space they're gonna make it very comfortable for you you know to to um, share your emotions Let me see. Yeah, I do feel like you guys could have in the past struggled a little bit with finding your 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 inner balance, you know. If we look at the um and I'm just talking here about the traditional like two of pentacles in the for example right away, there is someone in the illustration who's kind of trying to balance out something. And I don't know why um, this made me think of you trying to balance out yourself or you trying to balance out your feelings. So there is definitely the significance in here. But with the Ace of Cups being here as well, this definitely means a lot because especially for those of you guys who could have had emotional bad experiences the ace of cups is this emotional new beginning and i really feel like this could have even been something that you have been hoping for or wishing for because it's gonna make it easy for you you know this person is not a complicated person they're not gonna play those games and that's going to make it easier for you also to open up. But coming back to the Ace of Cups here. When we talk about what kind of partner they are. I mean, I just want to focus on the illustration here. Look at this beautiful woman. She has this cup in her hand and it's overflowing with water. And there's also this heart in here. With other words, it's the cup's energy. It's the emotional energy. It's the love. Overflowing love, overflowing emotions. I really feel like this is how they're going to be in a relationship as well. They're going to make you feel extremely loved. They're not going to hold back when it comes to this heart space. When it comes to those overflowing emotions. This could very well be the example that's going to make it even easier for you as well to open up. Because they're going to be so different from those previous people as well. And I'm not talking here only about romantic interests. It can also be, let's say, a friendship that you once had, you know, which um, affected you negatively, emotionally speaking. Or it can even be a family dynamic. You know, it doesn't always have to be a love partner. <sighs> I I also feel like, my dear, that this person, this next romantic soulmate, I don't know why I'm hearing they're gonna impress you with their with their intelligence as well. Maybe this is something you guys find very attractive, but you're gonna see them as someone very, very smart. And you can love that about them. This is such a random message, but you're also going to like how they dress. <laughs> what is happening? This is all about what kind of partner they are. <laughs> but I'm getting these messages. But I mean, hey, that's just, that's energies, right? You can never control what comes through. Whatever comes through comes through here. <laughs> so yeah. But okay, let's come back to what kind of partner they are. They are a very responsible one. Someone you can count on. 
we have the emperor on here we have the king of pentacles like together the king of pentacles by itself you know it's such a grounded energy like someone who has everything like put together um when it comes to their life as well someone who is very responsible someone who people can um can trust you know with their with their money you know with their um with their resources as well this is someone who knows what they're doing especially in this field this is also a survivor i'm not a survivor a provider <laughs> and for some of you guys this partner could also be someone who would want to support you on that level or provide for you to some extent but definitely someone that you can count on maybe even someone that you can ask certain financial advice from this is not the kind of partner or person genuinely speaking that you can manipulate they have their own mind they're very strong they're very powerful in their own um body you know in their mind in their emotions and they have worked very hard you know to become this this person may have been on this very long journey you know to to know themselves to really build this great relationship with themselves again and yeah you can see they're getting the fruits of their labor you know all the hard work has definitely paid off because now they are in their greatest version energy something that they could have not been in always right this is um this is a journey and this journey they've definitely succeeded in so far maybe it wasn't always easy maybe sometimes it yeah it's definitely well not maybe definitely <laughs> they had their challenges also with the five of wands you know maybe they really had to fought for their place you know for their um for example when it comes to their career but just generally speaking you know they had to thought for this um for this version of themselves like they fought for this and i talked about like i wanted to say provider and I said survivor, right? Maybe this person is literally a survivor. Like, they could have been their own warrior trying to create this life for themselves. Trying to, yeah, create this this version of themselves all by themselves. They may have faced a lot of competition, a lot of even failure, but they always continued now why are we getting so much information about them like about who they are i want to know what kind of lover they are but hey maybe someone watching this you really hope for this information like also to come through to also see um or also get a little bit more information about who they are but yeah that's definitely something right here mm. i feel like my dear also with the with the five of not five the ten of pentacles oh look at that nine of cups here as well um i feel like with the ten of pentacles being here and we also ending the reading with the two of cups they're gonna be a great partner you know they're gonna be the kind of partner with who you can you can build you can build a life with of course as i always say if this is something you want, if this is something you want, you choose out of your own free will, right? But if this is something you want, then the Ten of Pentacles as the overall energy, it shows us that this is someone who wants to create this home. This is someone who wants to create this community, who wants to build this, who wants to build a future, you know, um, and yes i even see children i even see animals like whatever it is that you may like to have in your personal space but for them it is important to build this community not only within our own like walls but really the place we're living in they're very active like this is someone who's actively working on relationships and wants to build 
a space in which everyone can feel good. So, yeah. They're coming through here with the Ten of Pentacles. You know, this is the kind of partner they are. But I really feel like this is someone you need. This is someone you want as well. You want someone who you can also build something long term. You want someone who you can also, yeah, maybe settle down with or get very serious with. You know, once again, coming back to the children or the animals. Someone who you can, you know, create not only a safe and comfortable environment with, you know, for yourself, but also for others. For some, maybe you're also going to do certain services for your community. You're going to get involved with your community, okay? Yeah. Let me see if I can get any more messages. Let's get you guys some more oracle cards. For my dear pile one. Uh, not one, pile three. <laughs> Why did I say that? Okay, maybe for some of you guys, you were also drawn to pile one. If this is, of course, the case, then feel free to watch it. Okay, we have the card step up and lead. Okay, with this card being here, I really feel like this person will motivate you as well, okay? Maybe they will motivate you to start um, getting serious about things that you're determined about as well, you know? Maybe they're going to be very supportive of your dreams, of your goals, they want you to be the leader of your own life, you know, the same very empowered energy that we can or that I can feel in this person's energy, in this person's present. I feel like they also want to empower this within you. This is the kind of partner who wants to empower their um, their partner to go after what it is that, yeah, that they're passionate about. So, for example, if you have had an idea... And other people were more so no-sayers. This is definitely a yes-sayer. When other people will tell you 10 reasons why you can't do something, this person will tell you 100 reasons why you can. Oops. Oh, also at the back of the deck, we have be open to change. So... Maybe being with this person will somehow change your life. But if it's going to change your life, it's definitely for the better. Because they're bringing out this empowerment within you. Personal empowerment. The second card we have is... Ability to communicate knowledge, experience, skill, or wisdom. Exactly. This was the wisdom I was talking about. Um, like, it feels like... Like, this person... Okay. I don't know why. Like, I'm, I'm reading wisdom, but for me, it is all about this intelligence that they have. Okay? I feel like their intelligence has made them very, very wise. And... Maybe this is the impression that others have of them, okay? That the things they say, um, the things they know, this intelligence that they carry within themselves, it makes them appear, well, not only appear, but it, they actually are a very wise person. Hmm... I really feel like no matter how empowered this person will be in their life, like, and also talking physically, no matter how far they will take it, this doesn't feel like someone who's going to take advantage of that, you know? Like, let's just talk about the teacher archetype. A real teacher will always have their students' best intentions at um in their mind right 
a real teacher wants to help their students out, wants to empower them once again, you know, to to get better in whatever subject it is, to make them more, um, yeah, gain more knowledge and stuff like that. This is the kind of person as well. So if they, for example, are a boss or they are um, in some kind of position in which they have certain amount of power over other people, they would never take advantage of that. You know, there would be this teacher archetype trying to communicate the knowledge, experience and skill and wisdom they have, you know, with the people they are yeah, working with, like literally what this card says, but not only with their work colleagues, perhaps. I mean, we're talking about your guys's relationship here, right? So I also see them yeah, bringing this into your guys' relationship as well. This is going to be a partner who's eager to to teach you as well. Whether it's the knowledge they have, the experiences, the skill, or the wisdom. <laughs> literally how this card says it, as simple as that. This is literally the message I'm getting. This is actually all I'm getting, my dear pal three. I'm not getting any more messages for you guys. So please feel free, my dear, to let me know how you feel about this reading as always. Also, feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't. If you're interested or curious in a person reading with me and you would like to get further information regarding one, as always, my dear, you can feel free to email me as well. Lastly, my dear, if you would also like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. You will find my Instagram link in the description box. My dear pal three, I'm sending you much love and much, much positive energy. And I hope you're having a beautiful day or, of course, a beautiful evening, depending where you are right now. But yeah, my dear pal three, take care, my love. <laughs>